Hello, Gabby, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine. And what did you do today? Uh, only a study for my uh, other course for telemarketing. Mm -hmm. And I have the exam, uh, the final exam. Finally, exam. And that's it. And clean my house. When is your final exam? Uh, what? When is the final exam? In, in this day. Today? Today was the final exam? Yes, yes. Okay. And did you pass? You didn't pass? What happened? Uh, I don't know. I don't know because it's very difficult. Oh. And yeah. Okay. And when do you have the results? Uh, maybe. Uh, wait. On Monday. Okay. Yes. So tomorrow, uh, no class, no training, nothing. No. No. No, only wait for Monday. Yes. Monday okay. only <clears throat> send uh, Gmail. Mm -hmm. And when I have a certificate or I, or I don't have, <laughs> maybe I have. <laughs> if you have certificate, then you begin working. Maybe. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Ooh, hopefully all right guys well welcome everybody i'm glad to see everybody we are ready to begin the first thing we're going to do is catch up a little bit about our day discuss what are our plans what did we do today what did we ask extra questions right uh, is it normal not normal what did you do how do you do that how often what frequency is it always sometimes usually we want to make sure we use all of our different vocabulary, not only the same questions every day. Okay, you guys ready? Yes. So, so, all right. <laughs> Don't worry, I see everybody's quiet. Let's go for it. All right, Cecilia, how are you? How was your day? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. I have I have a good day. I want to go to work. You didn't go to work? Yes. Yes, I didn't work. Uh -huh. Why um, did you do that? Um, because my father is in the oh. town and I went with him of many places and I leave him with his wife at the beach. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not too bad, not too bad, huh? No, <laughs> but tomorrow I have to go to work. But... Uh -huh. And did you go to the beach, Cecilia? Yes, I went. Okay. Good. But it was, was a nice day. Okay. All right. I'm, so glad, I'm glad that my brothers, my see, father mm -hmm. stay here. Okay. He lives in the United States. Ah, okay. All right. Good. All right. So right now we are in our groups. And exactly that, all we're doing is talking about our day. So in your groups, you talk about your day, ask more questions and more information, okay?
Hi, good evening. Good evening, good evening, Fatima. You didn't join the group. You want me to send you another invitation? Or Ruth? Ruth, you okay? You having problems with the audio? Hello, Luz, how are you? Laura, how are you? Hello. How was your day? Fine, a little busy in the work, but no, just arriving at home. Mm, typical, right, always? So many things to do. Yes, and the traffic is terrific. Terrific? Yes. Mm, where is terrific? It's horrible. Ah, uh, no, terrific is wonderful, is excellent. Ah. So for example, I say, Laura, you are terrific, is you are excellent. I think, ah. yeah. Okay, so, so this a, is a is a good is a good uh, objective. Yes, it's for it's positive adjective. things. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, so maybe is the the traffic is um, terrible. I think you want to say terrible. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Just it's not good, right? Okay. The traffic is not good. No. No. <laughs> then, yes. Then the traffic is no. terrible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So I see we are talking with Laura about how the traffic is, how the day was. We have a lot of different things. Let's go ahead and continue. Today, the idea is we want to finish our unit five, right? So here we go. Unit five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Luz, okay. Can you read the objective? What was the unit five? So we remember. Me to share. Okay, please go ahead and read. Okay. The future, okay. the future, the future tense is what we use to discuss, discuss, or and helps. In this lesson, there, uh, see. in this lesson, learn, learn how to use going to and will to convert to the future tense. English teach John Sands explains this to different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple form as an answer question using going to and where as actually verbs and practice this discussing i don't know how, how i say discussing discuss, yes discussing your future plans for example an holidays 
with family or even your plans for later in the, in the day? Okay, so we already discussed this a couple of times. We use going to and will. We've discussed the differences. The, the big difference is really going to is with planned action and will is un, unplanned. The one that you make the decision in the moment. So right now, what are we going to do? We're going to listen to this and answer some questions. All right. So let's listen together. Listen, and then we're going to answer the question. So the first thing we want to do is we want to read the questions, okay, to make sure that it's clear, okay. Osman, can you please read question number one, and then Luz number two, Laura number three, um, let's see, Fatima number four, and I think, ah, perfect, and uh, Karen number five. Osman, go ahead, read number one and the options. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No problem. The, the second. No, no, read, read it, read the question. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> I, uh, I, ha I, I have to read the question. Yeah, where, read the question, no problem. To stay. Where are the girls going to stay? Okay, and the options, what are the different options? For me, the second. But read, read the options. Ah, one, at a hotel. Second, at a relative's beach house. Third, at a Joe hostel. Okay, good, thank you. All right, number two, Luz. Okay, uh, what, Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have for the weekend? And she's going to the beach with her cousin. Her, read, Luz, read the options. Her, she's going to go camping and she's going to go she's going to go camping I think. and the last option she's going to go booting boating boating okay boating. all right good all right thank you laura number three what might julia do with her cousin a stay home all day b go shopping c go fishing c okay. go fishing okay. all right we're gonna see Number four, I think that was Fatima, right? Yes, I am booked for this weekend. I am going to go camping. No, no, read the options. Go ahead, read the options. Ah, uh, we'll go camping. I'm going to camping. Might go camping. Thank you very much. All right. And number five. What should you say if you're unsure? I am going to live around the end of June. May I will live around the end of June. I will live around the end of June. All right. Thank you very much, Karen. Remember, here is maybe, maybe I will leave. All right. Let's listen. We want to make sure that it's clear for everyone in case someone didn't do it. And then that way we can finish off unit five. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. All right, so we got an idea. We listened to it. So what are, where are the girls going to stay? A rel relative's beach house. Okay, a relative's beach house. And the second speaker, Julia, Julia what are the plans that she have for the weekend? She's going to go to the beach with her cousin. Okay. 
And what might Julia do with her cousin? Go fishing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here, what can we, how do we complete the sentence? I am booked for this weekend. I? I am going to go camping. Okay. And the last one, what should you say if you're unsure? Maybe I will leave around the end of June. Oh my goodness, only Karen know the answer. What happened? Only Karen know the answer and everybody else? Quiet, quiet. All right, let's find out Karen. I think you're doing a very good job. Let's see. Okay, so as you can see, very nice. We have set all of the answers you said correct. A la relative's beach house. She's going to go to the beach with her cousin. Okay, she's going to go fishing. She's going to go camping, okay? Or I'm going to go camping when you say you're booked. And the last one when you're unsure is the maybe, right? I will. Now here, how do we know that number four is correct? Because is I am booked. So you already have plans. So will is not plans. Might is not plan. That's how you know which is the correct one. Going to is a plan. That's the idea. And if you are unsure, always use will. Okay, any questions? Not teacher. No question, teacher. All right, good. So that means the last unit, unit five, super easy, very short, very quick. Now we have many different parts for our exam. This is the final test. As you can see, we have listening. Remember, the listening is like what we just did. You First, read the questions and the options. And then after you read the questions and the options, then you listen, okay? Number two, vocabulary, super easy. All you do is read and select the correct word to complete the different choices, only four parts, right? Number five, enough, not enough. Do you remember the difference between enough, not enough? And then only three sentences. Remember, enough is, is sufficient, is good. Not enough is not sufficient. You need more, okay? Then we have as many or as much. Which one do we use for countable? Is many or much? As many. Excellent, as many. And much many. is for? For not countable. Correct, very good. Many for countable, much uncountable remember guys many means that is with plural plural much not plural only singular words right the words that we don't count we can change then we have an exercise e expression wishes for example i wish ah i wish i were at the beach i wish i had one million dollars this is the idea you read and then you select what is the best way to complete the sentence for the wish. Okay. Then we have in letter F, simple past and present perfect. Who remembers what is the present perfect? Who remembers the present perfect? When we use the structure, a subject have uh, bearing participle and complement. Correct. So have the verb in participle and the complement. Correct. So here we have have, then we have the verb in participle, and that's it. Good. Remember the difference between simple past and present perfect is the present perfect only is important the experience. Only the experience. The simple past is when we know the action, when the action happened, last week, yesterday, two days ago. If you know the time, no present perfect because it's only when you don't know the time, okay? Then letter G, ah, the future, which is what we practice today, the will and going to, okay? And finally, just read, and if you need to read, you open up the next page 
and it's easier. Here, it's easier to read, you open, and then you answer the questions from there. Always make sure you check two times, you read two times to be sure. Any questions on the exam? No. No, no teacher. Okay, guys. Sure. Anybody finished? Yes. I finish. Yes. Yes, I, yes. I finish. I finish. I finish. I finish. Woo Excellent. I like. I like to hear it. I finish. I finish. I finish. You are amazing. You are the best people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jancy, you okay? Yes. Yes. You hear? No. Ah, it's the phone. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I thought it's the microphone. I think what happened? You have problems. You don't hear? No problem. Don't worry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Answer the phone. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. All right, guys. So what are we going to do? We want to review those parts of the unit. So we're going to review it speaking, okay? Uh, let me ask to be sure, okay? Hay alguien que no ha hecho el examen? Hay alguien que no lo ha terminado? Porque si hay alguien, le vamos a ayudar, lo vamos a mandar al grupo ahorita para que lo terminen con al, los demás. You ready? Okay. ¿Quién no ha terminado el examen? Who, who hasn't finished the exam? Me, teacher. Christopher? Yes. Me, Me teacher. I don't Me. finish the exam. I don't <laughs> Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. In this moment, we create. Hang on a sec. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'm going to put manually. Okay. Let's see. All right. Okay, so let's have Christopher. No, right? ¿Qué más? Me. Me, teacher. Wait, wait. Me. Wait, wait. ¿Quién es me? ¿Quién es me? Gabriela. Who? Gabriela. Gabriela. All right, Gabriela. Carlos. Who else? Julio. Julio Celaya, okay. Anybody else? Carlos Membreño. Carlos Membreño, thank you, thank you. Me, teacher, Herson. Herson and Herson, okay. Herson? Anybody else? No, only five. Only Carlos, Christopher, Gabriela, and Julio. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what are we going to do? In this moment, we're going to make the group. I'm going to set those groups solo para ellos. Solo para ellos ahorita. And then we're going to make the other groups. Okay, we're going to make other groups for the other people to practice. Okay, right now it's only for them. Let's see. Okay, that way they go. Go ahead, guys. Then you go automatically. And then I explain the instructions to the rest. One sec. All right. So now we are ready for the other people, those those that are doing the exam, excellent for them. That way they finish and they don't have to worry. Now for you, you guys, in your group is going to be different, okay? In your group, because you already finished, we are going to begin using the different things. Today, we're going to use describing with as many and as much. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to think about your house, okay? What? Ah, what do you have in your house? Oh, I have many chairs. I have, uh, I don't have, for example, maybe it's negative. I don't have uh, much food in the refrigerator. I have to go to the supermarket. <laughs> I forgot to go to the market. This is the idea. So we're going to describe our house using much and many. It's okay? Yes? Okay. Okay. okay all right, so let me make out those rooms so that we have much and many. Hang on a sec. Okay. Let's How many times? 
Take care. Don't worry, we're gonna have five minutes. We're gonna have five minutes for it. Much and many, and then we're gonna go on to I wish. I think that's everyone. No. Oh, we need more. Okay, let's try this one. And roll. Bueno, que no
Hey, hey, Luz, welcome back. Uh, hi, teacher. Hi, Luz, you saw the message? Yes, uh, I was lost in depth. No problem. I got confused. But the other people didn't come back yet. <laughs> yes. They were more confused. <laughs> okay, okay, let me put in Spanish. Okay, hang on. Let me see. Yes, I told them we have to come back, and they were. I put again. Because if not, I have to close the room for the people that are doing the test and it's going to be, there we go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Tell I me. got a message on WhatsApp mm -hmm. and they say that if I was in, uh, if I was in trouble with the platform or something, but I I finished the all the evaluations, but mm -hmm. I don't know if they got confused that I couldn't finish, but I did it. Mm, you can answer I finished the evaluations. That way they there is no if um, they, they sent you a message in WhatsApp. Yes, in WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. It was from Paola, I think. Okay. Only you put I don't, I don't remember the name, but but she she or he told me that I uh, was in Finnish. And mm -hmm. I was but I finished. I don't know. And maybe they already, got confused. Maybe yes, but you already received your certificate. My what? The certificate. Because my progress is 98%, I think. Then you are finished. I think I don't know what happened with the others. Okay. Well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. No, but in the in the message answer, I finished I finished the the unit. That way they know. That way there's no confusion. Okay. Okay. So I see that. Okay, the other people didn't come back. They are continuing speaking. They, they got confused. Or they didn't look at the chat. Yes. Okay. No viste el, el mensaje I think that the things that they were... Uh, I think that they were out from the... No problem. Not, only, not just not for the room, but from the platform. For Zoom, they were. Ah, okay. Uh, hello, hello, I'm sorry. Hello, Daniel. Hello, hello. Me sacó del living. For the whole meeting, maybe. They... Sí, de toda la sala. De todo. Ah. Mm -hmm. O sea, al salir de la sala me sacó de toda la reunión de Zoom. Really? No. Sí, a mí también me pasó eso. Oh. Y voy entrando nuevamente. Me too, teacher. Teacher, okay. la cuestión. Yes. Eh, cuando usamos el verbo modal might, eh, ese es como el, el podría, ¿verdad? También, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. Porque es que en la pregunta del examen... Es, no sé si se traduce que como es que podrías o que pudieras. También se puede usar como se pudiera. Eh, Porque es que ya le pre, ahí preguntan como que qué es lo que está, haría ella, ¿verdad? En la, en, la, en la discusión que tienen, ella le pregunta qué harás en, en vacaciones y ella le contesta que, se, que cree quedarse mejor en casa. Entonces la pregunta lleva ese I might. Espérenme, lo voy, lo voy a buscar. Okay, look for look for the question. Look for the question. Is right. um, what might Julia do with her cousin? Uh -huh. Entonces, oh. eso, es, eso es como el que podría Julia hacer con el, el sobrino o es como el que, que haría? 
eh, no, es como que podría. Pero de, de posibilidades, como might. Might ¿no? lo ocupamos en, en, en posibilidades. En posibilidades. Show sería ya, eh, no, code y el code ya como una obligación. Uh -huh. Porque ambos son lo mismo. Venga, venga, venga. Someone is asking for help in, in WhatsApp. Yes, I put right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead, tell me again. Okay, so what was the question, sorry? Oh, eh, might is a, a possibility, a code is a obligation. No, it's a, it's a, might, it's, it's, might like, is a possibility and could is an option. So could is an option. Porque because ambos significan lo mismo. No, both significa lo mismo, pero no significa lo mismo. Cuando lo traducís, significa lo mismo. Pero en inglés son totalmente diferentes. Might and could. En español solo existe uno. Podría. Yeah, podría en la ¿Cómo me podrías ayudar en una tienda? Pero yo nunca, jamás pudiera decir, might you help me? Sería, could you help me? Uh -huh. Pero en inglés, solo, en español solo existe un podría. Yeah, Ajá. Entonces, esa es la diferencia. Y que, como lo estás traduciendo, te está quedando solo uno. Es como cuando decís eh, al revés, si decís pig, en, español, en inglés solo hay un pig, pero en español hay el tunco, el cerdo, el tub, el cuche, el u, ¿y qué es la diferencia? Nada, ambos, todos van a, a, al mismo significado. Ok, uh -huh. en ese caso todos van para uno, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. entonces eh, así lo estás pensando, que es en español, lo estás pensando que es una palabra, y que no va a diferentes significados, pero sí, todos van a diferentes significados. Uh -huh. El so, might, yeah. is might is for a possibility. That, that, that is like a maybe. Maybe I go to the beach. Maybe I don't. And then uh -huh. the other one is the, the uh, could. Yeah. Could is for the options. If you have $100, ah, you could save money, you could do, you have many options. <coughs> and yeah. might, maybe the decision. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Mister, you're welcome, you're welcome. Mister, the room five, there isn't work. <laughs> okay. Hasta ahorita estamos regresando, nos tuvimos que salir y volver a meter porque ahí ya estábamos atrapados. <laughs> no, no, a todos nos pasó igual. No, no, Pidiendo no, no, ayuda. <laughs> No los dejaba salir. Y aquí estábamos uh -huh. todos. Yo por eso no, no podía. Ah, ok. Ok. Don't worry. Bueno, los que quedan ahí atrapados ya les vamos a ayudar. Ok. All right. So, right now we're going to continue. We're going to go to our topic number two. Topic number two today is letter E from the exam. If we remember. Ok. We have um, the enough. The, the much, the many. Now we're going to express wishes. What do you wish? What are the things that you want? Okay. So for example, ah, oh, I, I don't like my job. I, I wish I had a new job or I don't, I don't like uh, it's Salvador. I wish I lived in another country or I don't like the violence. I wish there were more police, the different wishes. Okay. So you're going to express the wish. Okay, always with I wish, and then depend. I wish I, I wish uh, it, I wish we, I wish it's Salvador, whatever you want to de describe the different situations. It's okay? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, all right, let's go. Okay. Don't worry.
Gabriela? Ah, I need to put you to another one. Okay. Let's go for the other room. Oh, you are out of the room. Gabby, Luz, Christopher, any questions? Uh, no, no, no. We finished the exam. Hey, excellent. You finished the Me exam? Too. Okay, so now only Julio continue with the exam. No, maybe Julio is in my group. Mm -hmm. okay. But I, I, I don't know. Okay, let's try it. Let me close all the rooms and let's see. Mm -hmm. Then we'll check. We'll check with everyone. No problem. Richard, I was lost. I what? see, I see the man. What happened? 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 Everybody lost. Uh huh. You sent me, you sent me to, to have dinner in, in, to the Eugenia house. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. So I close all the rooms. That way you don't have problems. Now everybody finished the exam? Yes. 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 Okay, then now no problem, no? Okay. All right, now we can do the room normally because now everybody finished, no have to do separate rooms. Mm -hmm. es, de, la, es que la aplicación no permite hacer como dos grupos, se tiene que manejar un grupo y permanente y no, puede, no puedo sacar los otros, sino que ellos se tienen que salir manualmente. That's why. But don't worry, in this moment we practice now. Okay, so one more time, what are we going to practice? We are going to practice the idea for which, okay? So let me show you, for those that are coming right now with our partners, we are here with expressing wishes. So we're gonna talk about, oh, you know, I don't have a car, I wish I had a car. Remember always, I wish I could buy a car. Always the past tense, right? That is the correct way to use I wish. I wish I were in shape. I'm not, I'm not healthy. Ah, okay. Or I don't have money. Or I don't, I want a new cell phone. Ah, and then you use the word I wish to express for food, clothes, job, anything that you want. Okay. The wish is not real. The wish is you imagine what you want. Uh. ¿Cómo pudiera decir yo desearía no tener que usar lentes? The negative, the negative in the past. So the way I, you begin the same, I wish, and what is the negative in the past? I wish, didn't, didn't. correct, correct, excellent. I wish I didn't have to use, for example, I didn't have to glasses. use glasses, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. I I wish I didn't have to use glasses. Okay. Uh -huh. No, I like glasses. My first wishes. I like glasses. Uh -huh. I, look, I, I, look, hate. I look sexy with glasses. Así me asunto. Me doy paja yo mismo. I hate to, Cecilia. There you go. You I see? Ah, hate. they like Cecilia. I use, I, use, I use glasses around 15 years. Ah, long time. Oh. But, but, uh, uh, Six years ago, I, I don't know how to say it, but, uh, cirugía. 
surgery. Oh, surgery. And, and I, I don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. good, good surgery. Uh, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Gracias a Dios que, que no, no quede mal, quede bien. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, but, but my was, problem was is for Solo veo un ojo, pero quedó bien. Exo. No, teacher. No, no, that's true. The truth. It's uh, true. Uh, 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 I, I can't, I can't watch nothing. No. Uh, mi conente podía ver bien. O sea, me costaba uh -huh. tener matismo. Okay. Uh, pero cuando me hicieron cirugía, ya quedé con el 100% de la visión. Ahí le, le hacen evaluaciones a uno. Ya, ya, ya. ¿verdad? Lo que sí le pasa a uno que después de los 40 se da un común fenómeno de edad. No sé cómo, no recuerdo cómo se llama. Sí, la previsia por la edad. Ajá, de, de, de cerca no puede ver bien uno. Es como que un golpe le haga a uno y le ponen algo así de cerca. Pero uh -huh. es, es lo, lo normal, no, normal. Pero okay. sí que bastante bien de la vista. All right. Well, that's what we're going to do. In our groups, we're going to discuss the wish. All of the things that you wish you had, you wish you could do, all of the different things. You guys ready? Ready. Ready. Okay, now, now the rooms are normal. Okay. Luz, join your group. Okay, I move Osman to another group. Roof, what happened?
Okay, any questions with which? No teacher. No. No? All right, guys. In that case, that's excellent. That means remember, wish is for what you desire, what you want. 
And we're going to continue tomorrow talking about reviewing the rest of the units, unit one, two, three, four. That way we can practice. Remember, we only have three classes. That's it. Only three classes. So you need to make sure that you finish the, all of the platform one, two, three, four, five, and the test. If you need help, ask, and we help you in the group. It's no problem. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.